I think that because the images are very good, I think that, that orthopedic surgeons don't need any help with reading bone images. I don't think that's an issue. But when I started bringing up to Dr. Marzo saying like, hey, you know, I think you could look at this and say, hey, I think the ACL is disrupted. I think the PCL is disrupted here. There may be injury to the patellar retinaculum here. He was amazed. He said, oh, you can, you can see that on a CT? Does, no one really used to think that. I mean, even in my training, no one used to think that way. But I think in looking at the quality of these images, I think there's a chance that you can make that diagnosis. So I think it's a collaborative thing. I think that orthopedic surgeons are exceptional at uh, uh, interpreting imaging. They're great. There's, there's no question about it. And they also have, uh, they, they have the clinical history on the patient. So they kind of know what they're looking for before they interpret the scan. But I think that uh, on the other side of it, we have a lot of experience with um, quality of images and densities and what's this and what's that and, and in indirect findings that I don't know that orthopedic surgeons alone can make the decision and I don't know that radiologists alone can make the decision. But if, if they're working together, I think they can. And I, I mean, that's a trend across healthcare that, that hopefully people live by. I think we all need each other. Um, but I, th I think that it probably would be a collaborative thing. And I think that's, that in, at the end of the day, it'd probably be the best thing for the patient's collaboration.